All right, Crazy Man here, and I want to give you a little quick tutorial. This will be a, a couple part series, most likely. Uh, of the first video here, we're going to focus on getting things in Blender and more or less moving them around uh, if you wanted to set up a truck in ROR. Uh, and you can do two things. You can make a render version or a exporting version. And usually with exporting versions, you just want to have the chassis. You can usually have the chassis, the engine... Uh, any parts on the truck, with the exception of usually shocks, uh, tires, axles, stuff like that, they have to be in a separate file because of how they are placed. They have to sit dead center in uh, Blender to be placed correctly in the ROR space. Um, anything you put dead center where these two lines cross, the red line and this uh, green line, which is your X and your Y, anything you put on that right in the center is where you're going to is where it's going to attach in um <clears throat> it's where it's going to attach in uh ROR so if you have shocks and you want the eye hooks to the the eyelets of the shock to actually attach to the chassis at that point you have to put those eyelets in line with with the x or y uh axis depending on how you have them how you want to rotate them or put them um so the first way to, to bring something into Blender to work with it, or at least get it in there and get a look-see at it, is to append and link from another file. And we're going to just, or I already have it kind of set up here to go with a, an existing chassis that I've worked on in the past. And we just load it into game, or load it into Blender, and here we have a chassis. Fully editable and still using the thing, the same stuff it used in that blend file. So it still has the mirror modifier on it from the other blend file that it was worked on with. Um, and then if you want to bring a body into Blender to work with it, you simply have to just find where you have the body at. Uh, let's see. Actually, I probably should go back in there. You basically have to go see where you have the body that you're looking for saved at. And... Um, I kind of forget where this one body I'm looking for is, actually. Oh, here we go. We'll go with uh, truck stang. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, and what you want to do is you want to essentially import. Now, in this case, it's probably going to have me uh, import two separate body pieces. So, whenever, in this case, it actually did not work. And sometimes that too happens where you will get an issue to where it didn't actually imp or append or link the item that you were trying to get a hold of. No, I might have to actually try this. Yeah, that's not working. So, it could be this other piece here. Yep, there it is. Now, essentially, that means that the other, that other one is just nothing. It, it's there, but it was never deleted. So, there's an excess body in in that in there somewhere that was never deleted. And actually, now that I think about it, it might be hidden. Yep, there it is. That piece that was, uh, it's the Ford clip. The X key will erase stuff, and the G key can move items. So you simply go into edit mode by hitting tab. Hit the G key and go up, which is the Z axis. You can lock it to that axis to go up with it. You can also put yourself in different views. That would be the 3 key. One is a front view, seven is a top view, and then if you want to flip to the other side, you hold down control, and there's opposite sides, rear side for hitting control one, and seven would, and control seven would be the bottom. Uh, center mouse button does most of your rotating. Uh, left clicking doesn't really do anything here. Right clicking on everything is how you select stuff. Left clicking will move that little crosshair around. Uh, and it works the same when if you want to move, say, 
uh, one of the verts here. You simply hold the, hit the G key and you can move the vert wherever. Control Z undoes everything. Or you can know, undo a couple things. So if you wanted to move, say, the body back down, Control Y will go back up. Uh, let's see. Now, when you, uh, when you bring something into Blender, you usually you try to use edit mode at all times. You want to keep these settings here zeroed. Due to the fact that if you keep them zeroed, I can export the body and this chassis and use the exact same prop line in ROR truck file for each one and they should be identical, identically positioned in there. I wouldn't have to do much changes to them in ROR. And it, it saves some time having to move stuff around. But you still might have to move it around. There's still that chance you're going to or going to have to or whatnot. Uh, you can also bring the engine in here. You can bring uh, your transfer cases, uh, batteries, stuff like that, and use the same prop line for them or combine them to the chassis. And to co to combine stuff, you select the prime the what you want to add first, and then select what you want to add it to. So if I want to add the body to the chassis, I select the body first, then the chassis, and hit Control J. And now they are one piece. Now, if you want to separate them, you simply have what you want selected, which you can hit. Uh, you have the chance of hitting the A key to select everything. That also, that also selects the chassis. Or, put your cursor over a vert, hit the L key, and it will select items in their entirety. And you got to make sure you have everything. I just moved it out to make sure everything I have is there. And then you can hit uh, the P key and hit selected. And it will separate the body back away from the chassis. And you can work with it. And occasionally you can import chassis that have other stuff on it and get what you want off that chassis and move it to other ones. Uh, the, I think I said it, I don't know if I said it, but the G key moves everything. Uh, X, Y, and Z are your axes. Your, a nah, your axes. You simply move, uh, hit the G key and press the set axis you want to move, uh, the body on. So whether it be X by hitting that, uh, Y, or Z to move it up and down. Um, Deleting is the X key, and what uh, and whatnot. If you would like to, there's one other way to import something in the Blender, and that is actually importing it through one of these existing files, existing 3D files. Whether it be a 3DS, which you'll see, you will see Kaleidas, which are DAE files, and you will see uh, Ogre Mesh XMLs and Wavefront OBJs. I'm going to go ahead and import an OBJ file because I actually do have one available to me. And it's actually a chassis I'm working on currently for another person. Now when you export it, this body is actually already of size to what you need in Blender and so is this chassis for ROR. If you notice, this chassis is just a wee bit too small. So simply hit the S key and scale the chassis up. When you don't press an axis, you actually just scale it like this. And bring it to a decent size, usually using an existing chassis like I'm doing, can give you an idea of width and height. Obviously all chassis will be different, but you try to get an idea of where it would be sitting. So, and then you can hit the H key to hide other stuff in, in there, and that would be an idea of what the chassis would look like under this body. And the shock towers are a little further forward because this chassis is intended for a shorter body style. And you can always change that. If you wanted to put this body on here, this is a simple way of doing it. Being that there's a lot of space here to actually move. Because if you notice, there's these are like sections right here, like here's a grouping. Well, the benefit is here is if you hit the B key like I just did and get the round selector tool, you can select the back half of this, hit the G key, hit Y, shrink it down, and now the body actually uh, fits the chassis. 
the body actually fits the uh, where the shocks would be sitting, which actually is nice to see. And of course, I can always go like that a little bit, and that seems a little better where it sits now. If you were to actually construct this truck into an actual working truck in game, obviously it, it doesn't really follow the lines of the uh, the front here. You don't have to. It, it it's your choice if you want the chassis to follow a body or not. Uh, like the Savage X I made, that chassis actually does follow the body. Uh, it's totally up to you how you want to do it. And, but, pretty much we're going to go ahead and, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and just take the video right there and end it. Uh, that's the simple way of getting things in game and working with them and moving them. Uh, the next tutorial, I'll probably focus on, and that was also some minor editing. The next tutorial, I think I'll focus on bringing other stuff in here, uh, getting it set up in-game, actually putting, not getting set up for in-game, but more or less getting a lot of parts in the chassis and positioning them, and adding on things to help bring the realism to it, whether it be uh, having to add extra pieces, whether it be small pieces of drive shaft, or adding in a, the jack shaft that would, uh, that would go in... Uh, for the, the little miniature drive shaft that would fit in place to take the transfer case to the front or back depending on where the engine sits uh, and whatnot. So, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. And uh, I will see you in the next video.